Hello and welcome. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Elliott. Please like, subscribe, and share. Now, what we do here, we will separate the reading into sections. So we look at the overall energy first before we then look into your emotional core. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of November for the sign of Cancerians. Okay, so before we do any of this, let me introduce you to my guest reader, my friend Jane Arnold is here this month. For those of you who have been here a lot, you will remember she has been on the show six times. The problem is every time she comes back, she looks more stunning. So people go like, who the fuck is this? So <laughs> still Jane, <laughs> right? So welcome back. Thank you. And that's what we're going to do. Um, and without further ado, you know, every time when we do these recordings, when, when my guides come in, I start sweating, so I know they're here. Yeah. So while you use this thing, I just change my T-shirt because I don't have any stains on it. And you kind of go, like, "What's wrong with this guy?" Right? Anyway, so I'm going to change into another T-shirt because I'm, you know, that's what I do. And you just tell them about the overall energy for the month of November 2023 for the sign of Cancerian. Lovely. So Cancerians, um, this month it's very much about work. It's a work focus. Um, <laughs> and you've been focusing so much on work and so much on you know how do I get through this challenge how do I get through this day this month this week etc you need to remember that you need to play you need to have fun um, that will help to raise your vibration it will help to get you through the challenges that you have in work so it's a cycle really so very much Getting out there, having fun, doing something that you enjoy is going to make things work more easily for you. So when you do then have to face your challenges at work, you will face them with a, a renewed energy and a renewed figure. What's been happening with you is you've just constantly been focused on work, 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 and it's drained your energies a little bit. Um, and so, you know, you haven't got time to play, you haven't got time to have fun and do the things that I'd like to do. Um, and, and it's the wrong way around. We're not here just to work. We're here to live and to have fun as well. So pop that back into, into your life in whichever way you can, and you will find that things will go much more smoothly this month. And remember, thank you. And remember that should you be a person that says, okay, I'm not working at the moment, this is where you go wrong. You may not be employed at this point in time, but doing the chores, running errands, cooking, cleaning, do whatever the heck you have to do, is no different to work, right? Yeah. So if you learn that this is actually quite tiring, doing all that stuff, um, that's when the play has to come in. Really, really important. And remember, Cancerians, you are the only sign in the zodiac that is governed by the moon. So the moment you are emotionally affected, wouldn't go as far as saying as emotionally compromised, but the moment you feel like, you know, this drains me, which means emotionally you, you feel less, um, you have a problem because nothing, no other sign is as affected by the moon um, as you are. So you are super emotional at the best of times, if that makes sense. Okay, so. Thanks for putting in here, Thomas. Yeah, welcome. welcome Thomas. <laughs> this is my guys too. <laughs> you know? And now we look at um, your emotional core. And you can see, we already talked about the emotional core before I even got the cards, because life doesn't work that detached, if that yeah. makes sense. You know? But I noticed over the years, um, because oftentimes I do this on my own, so it becomes a monologue. I find it easier when you actually separate it. People find it easier to understand that, if that yeah. makes sense. You know? So bite size is sort of the key. So now, here we go. Cancerians, I just said that you are the only sign that is governed by the moon. The moon and the sun are the most important planets in the universe. And guess what? They're not even planets. We call them planets for convenience. They're just called luminaries, right? Because they have a strong energy and they reflect or, or, or give light. So they're not even planets. The point is, they're oftentimes fairly close together. But what you want to see is for them to be far apart, right? And the sign that follows yours is Leo, which is governed by the sun. The point is, you are the sign governed by the moon. And in your emotional core, you have solar flares. 
and solar flares is what the sun is bombarded with and the sun by default is the strongest energy that we have so back in the day before people sort of knew really how intricate people are they would just call it the ego oh it's the ego blah 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 blah, blah right um, and yes egotistical people can be complete nutheads not uh, knuckle cases not you know i get this but the point is here you also sometimes need to show strength which is what the sun does for you but like the moon the sun goes through phases that nobody knows about and for the most part cares about and these phases that have to do with the solar flares have been measured since 1755 because they affect the uh, electromagnetic field of our beloved planet now guess what in your body is the electromagnetic field yep 10 points to Gryffindor <laughs> your aura so the point is when it comes to your emotional core you will likely feel I'm not sure where I'm going here because when when the moon and the sun overlap is where um, eclipses happen and where energies are going weird so they don't share space well the point is that they will always be or for the most part close together it is perfectly fine for you at times not to function well right and it's interesting because um i have them as tattoos on my hands and i have a, a tagline that i haven't memorized well that's why it's not on the video but let me just show this to you let me just see if this makes sense to you the sun is the ruler of the day the moon is the ruler of the night but you are the ruler of your own destiny i i have them here because they are opposing energies and if i need to be aligned if i am emotionally compromised and i don't speak up i put the sun on top of the moon if i feel i'm i'm way more german than i should be today i'm going to put the moon on the sun i'm not asking you to get a tattoo what i'm saying is the body houses the soul and if you wear something on your body you outwardly communicate with the guides that's the reason why i did it the point is it is pointless fighting the energy of the sun just because you're by default opposing to one another we all have different sides to ourselves mm -hmm. and people oftentimes choose the sides they like in you right and that is not fair because unless someone someone really you know accepts you exactly the way you are isn't that what life is about and isn't, isn't that what what emotions are about and isn't that what relationships are about so therefore when the sun comes in there and says i'm bombarded by solar flares look at which means reflect on in the relationship or relationships that you have had how often did it come up that people find certain things you do odd and awkward and is there anything you can do about it? I mean, if, if 10,000 people tell you you're doing this, blah, 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 there might be a reason if that makes sense, right? But the point is, unless you're in balance with that other side of you that you're by default dismissing, you're not going to work well. And so, cut a long story short, in the month of <coughs> November, you are asked to confront all parts of you. And this is important because the number on this card, sort of like cards, is 17. 1 and 7 is 8. 8 is the number of stumbling blocks. So the number 8 is the number of stumbling blocks. And if you step out of what you normally do, hence reflecting, and see things from a different point of view, the 8 will topple over, become infinity. So there, there need to be changes into, in, uh, into your love life, if that makes sense, because that's what I'm getting. So this month, uh, Cancerians, I don't see you needing to sit there and be miserable about something that didn't work. So this is not a month where healing will work super well for you. This is more months where you where you pick yourself up again and go like, you know what, I, I deserve to be loved, right? And at the same time, I will be the best version I can be, right? So, but the point here is that this all feels like older issues. So if you are a person that sort of goes into new things quite frequently, which has come up quite a lot for... Um, Cancerians in a number of readings this year and I know it's not for everybody right but the point is um, moving on too quickly from things without looking at them properly uh, or, or in other words distracting yourself too much can also be a problem and all the guides are saying is you know look at it see it from a different point of view so things are flowing again now overall 
this is not super flowing for you right but you are in one of the strongest months if not the strongest months at the moment because we're in November November is the 11th month 11 is a master number so of all the month the energy of November is the strongest so <coughs> you have an extra <coughs> excuse me you have an extra strength that you can utilize this month if that makes sense but also because the number 11 when you put one and one together becomes two which is about unities and units and um, couples um, focus on whatever went wrong in relationships and maybe learn to make different choices in the future because that's why i'm getting the strongest here okay mm -hmm. so that wasn't short and sweet it just kept talking forever mm. anyway speaking of talking forever before we move on <laughs> I currently am a, uh, an executive contributor for, a, for an amazing magazine called Brains Magazine and um, they handpick the people they want to write for them um, based on their knowledge so thank you Brains Magazine for picking me and um, I always write for their mindfulness section so I'm giving advice there, help people there uh, but, it, but the magazine has hundreds of people that write for them and you will find an awful lot of areas you know for, even from entrepreneurship and, and business and um, you know all sorts of stuff so there's, there's hypnotherapists on there, there's counselors on there, it's amazing the amount of people that have a lot of knowledge that they then share, it is all free. So I'll leave the link in the description box below. And now we're looking at the opportunities as the percentage of you in the months of November 2023 for your very sign. And while Jane is um, shuffling, here's another thing that, 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 that I can offer you. Um, I have a 10% off deal just for the months of November. If you are a person that, that wants to, to know, you know, how do I tick? What does my life, uh, what is my life about? Um, I write astrology reports. I made an extra video for this. So I'm not going to go on about it for a long time. You also see a, a picture on the screen now, but there's a 10% off. And you see it on the screen. That's why I don't have to say how much it is <laughs> um, that you can utilize provided you book it in November. That said, Lastly, we're now looking at opportunities. Esther will send themselves to you in the month of November 2023 for the sign of Cancer. Cancer, you have my action card. Go for it. Very much about moving forwards for what you want, going towards what it is that you want in your life. You need to put your thoughts out there a little bit about what it is that you want as well. There's um. Uh, there's a my head feels very muggy it feels like there's very, a lot of confusion that's going on with cancerians at the moment about their lives as well so it's a little bit about put your thoughts out there what it is that you want so that the universe can bring them forward and then act on those thoughts as well but it's a really really good month um the, yeah. there seems to be a lot of power yeah. in this yeah. month oh very a really really good month for you to be getting out there and it does fall um in a little bit about with your overall energy as well um less work more play this falls in with that as well because it's very much about this is part of your play part of doing what it is that you really want to do for you make time to do it yeah and remember you are governed by the moon the new moon every month is about manifesting mm. and the energy of the moon that affects all of us and therefore helps us manifesting when the new moon comes around is by default your own energy your governing planet is the moon you the energy of the moon is inside you so manifestation is not going to be difficult for you yeah. provided you are clear at what of, uh, about what you want okay cancerians that was fucking awesome. <laughs> Please like, subscribe and share. If you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. I do love my coffee, especially in November. See you next time. Thank bye you, Jane. Bye-bye.